Hi, I'm Hendrik Lüsch. I'm marine natural products researcher at the University of Florida. Over the past few years we have made several trips to the Florida Keys including the dry tortugas and we have observed and the cyanobacterial diversity in this area and it's one of the areas of greatest biodiversity in the continental United States. Cyanobacteria are believed to be the oldest organisms on Earth. They're around for a couple of billions of years. And they had a long time, obviously, to evolve chemistry, chemical weapons that they use to defend themselves and to compete with other uh, organisms in the environment for space and for nutrients. So we exploit these chemical weapons they produce for biomedical purposes. It turns out that these chemical weapons can be used to treat cancer and other diseases. You can certainly call it a treasure hunt. In contrast to other treasure hunts, we are looking for a different color, a different substance. <laughs> well, we're heading this way. That's where the dry tortugas are located. So we just departed Key West and going further west to the Fort Jefferson. And it's one area of very high biodiversity. So there's not just one cyanobacterium. There is such a diverse array of cyanobacteria out here. They are genetically very different and that ultimately translates into different chemistry, meaning different chemical compounds that are produced at the location over here, for example, compared with the spot where we encounter cyanobacteria on the other side of the island. So we may find a novel anti-cancer compound over here and a novel antibacterial compound over there and an antiviral compound on the other side of the island. So there's just spectacular diversity which we tap into and exploit for a variety of biomedical applications. We consider the ocean really as a pharmacy. Most of the earth is covered by, by ocean. So if we can get get to those organisms that potentially produce interesting compounds, then we may be able to access a new generation of drugs. But if you consider that over 50% of all the drugs on the market are derived from terrestrial natural products, and considering that over 70% of the earth is actually covered by ocean, and only a handful of drugs are derived from the ocean, then you can extrapolate and can imagine how many more drugs are just waiting to be discovered by us and by other groups.